All right, hello everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to us today. Uh, we're gonna discuss, well, let's think about this. Summertime, here we are. Favorite months, really. It's the time that we're making our most memories with like friends and family. But it's also a time where our schedules, our routines, they get put on the back burner because everything is shaken up. So it's hard to stay on track. So today we're gonna discuss our favorite tips to staying healthy this month. We're gonna, this summer months. We're going to cover exercise. We're going to cover nutrition. And most importantly, we feel supplementation. So I'm Lisa, and this is Dr. Ryan, and let's get into let's it. do it. All right, so let's think. Raise your hand or give me, give me a thumbs up out there if you feel like when you're traveling during the summer, which is the most time that we travel, it actually heightens your stress level, right? I mean, exercise, I mean, exercise, vacationing, travel is fun. It's exciting, but it also, the packing, the making sure the kids have everything together, making sure you're finishing up major things at work. I mean, it is added stress. So there's certain things like the stress can deplete certain nutrients, can affect your mitochondria, which I know I want Ryan to go into in a little bit. Um, and there's other things too, along with traveling that affect our nutrient levels and affect our mitochondria. What's another big one? Sleep. Sleep right? for sure. Sleep is huge. We're sleeping in different environments, talking from a, a high maintenance sleeper. Like, I feel like I have everything from my like sleep eight, my, you know, um, I mean, earplugs and stuff like that. It's easy to travel with, but a lot of my bedding stuff I rely on for good deep sleep and I can't have that with me. So you're, we're in different beds. We're in different environments. Sometimes hotel rooms never get cold enough. Right. And I just feel like we lose our amount of sleep, not to mention we're staying up later. Right. And Maybe some of you get lucky if you don't have kids, you get to sleep in. But then those of us with kids we don't necessarily get to sleep in because on vacations, for some reason, they just seem to wake up earlier. Um, so our stress is affected. Our sleep is affected. We're eating out more, which is like, I mean, you know, we love to travel and we also love to enjoy when we travel. Like we just got back from a week, a week long trip on, in the BVIs. It was a great time. And we like to enjoy the local food. But, you know, you're eating out more and your your choices even though you're trying to make them good choices, they're not as good. The food is not as clean as like a home cooked meal. You don't know what oils they're using. It's probably not organic, whatnot. So we're eating out more. And then the level, the quality of the food probably goes down as long as you're you know, doing a great job at home. Um, what else? Maybe we're, we don't have our gym. We don't have our regular exercise class. We don't have our, you know, our tennis score, whatever it is that you do for your regular exercise, it's different. Um, I want to talk a little bit about my favorite way uh, to stay with exercise. And I don't want you to think of exercise like an all or nothing. So, oh, I don't have an hour to spend because we have to go here and go here and whatnot. It doesn't have to be an hour. I don't have my regular gym. That's okay. What did we do? We would take sometimes 15, 20 minutes of just mm -hmm. a little workout just to get your body moving. A little bit of workout, 20 minutes of exercise is much better than zero. So, Make sure you're giving your body sweating, increasing the sweat, right? Helping with any type of, of detox. detox. Yeah, sure. <laughs> any sure. type of detox. Um, all right, what else? So, yeah, there's only, you covered a lot of really helpful, like relatable information in that intro. It was great. I would say that on vacation, and for the most part, we're in an environment that we're really trying to decompress, right? We're trying to relax, but that means we're indulging in things. You know, we're sitting out in the sun, we're laying on the beach, we're just, we're hiking, whatever it is we're doing, we're exposing ourselves. A lot of times it's just extra UV radiation. Now, that's not entirely bad with the production of vitamin D that we've talked about and the healthy levels of sunshine that you should get. But many times we find ourselves overexposed. Uh, another one that comes to mind is a lot of alcohol, you know, and that in, in itself is is an, an irritant, you know, it, and it can certainly dehydrate us further. It can um, do a lot of things. It, it can create a lot of free radicals in the same way with the sunshine and the same thing. Alcohol can cause free radicals, lack of restorative sleep can cause free radicals, you know, and these are just added, added kind of stress mechanisms to the body that um, most of the time at home when we generate free radicals, just in energy metabolism, we neutralize it naturally. And like Lisa said, like we're at home, we're cooking our foods, we're, we're using our supplements, we're getting our sleep, all is kind of well, right? But if you're, if you're not doing enough to neutralize those things while you're on vacation, you're going to come home and feel like you just got washed ashore right. or, or, you know what I mean? Like you just gotta, you're just not going to feel yourself. It'll take a few days. It's going to essentially feel like a hangover of some sort, you know? So 
look, and it's not just vacation or anything like that. It, it, it can be a, just a summer routine, you know, for, for the homes that are that have kids and if you're on break or uh, for whatever reason, you know, sometimes people just in the summer really like to get out and, and mix up their routine. Right, which is healthy. It, it really is. is. So that's why during these summer months and during uh, when our routine is upset, we need to make sure we are staying on top of several things. And like I said about the exercise, just move your body. So 20 minutes is better than zero minutes. Um, when it comes to eating out, just always focus on whatever you're going to eat. Make sure there's protein involved. That's really what my a goal is of mine is like, I'm not just going to have some chips, right? I'm, I'm going to make sure there's some kind of protein or even like a healthy fat. So maybe chips and a little bit of guacamole, but always center things around um, like a health aspect. Um, when it comes to, I mean, sleep, do the best you can to stick to your routine. But again, we understand it's vacation. We do the same thing. We, you, you know, again, it's healthy to mix it up. Um, and what Ryan was referring to mm -hmm. about, like, when you come back from vacation, you feel like it's like you have that vacation hangover. That's what we always talk about. I'm sure you guys have said it, that you need a vacation after vacation, right? You need that vacation day, that buffer day. We like to maybe come back on a Saturday so you have Sunday to kind of re recover, recoup, get back on your routine. So another major player, and I find, I think supplementation is one of the most important things to do when traveling because we are doing all these things to our body, things that are different, affecting our nutrient levels. Maybe we're not getting it all from our food um, and the, all, all the other aspects we just talked about can further deplete things. Um, so I make sure I almost like I could say double up on certain supplements to make sure I'm covering all my bases and I'm really supporting my body. And one of the biggest ones I love to do is our methylene blue. So For sure. as I said, all these things like affect our mitochondria. So when I am traveling, again, I'm going to give the example because we just got back last night from a week long trip. I took a methylene blue every morning. Um, typically, this is something I'll do every other day, maybe every second day, but I make sure I'm supporting my body by doing it every day. And then when I come back, I can take you know, a little break from it. So love the methylene blue. Um, when it comes to like working with the inflammation that we're causing ourselves, I love to increase my factor four. So instead of taking the two, take four or six during that period of, mm -hmm. of, um, of travel. And let's think, oh, I always, our essential aminos, building blocks of protein. Mm -hmm. Again, we're not having our regular workouts. Sometimes, like when we travel, sometimes it's just body weight stuff. I'm not having my regular strength training. So I fear like the, the losing muscle, which, you know, can happen easily. So I always make sure I double up on my essential aminos to make sure I'm preserving the muscle mass that I work so hard for. Very important. And then when Ryan was talking about like the free radicals and we really, really need to support ourselves with the antioxidants. Yep, I mean, there it is. You've got to, I double up on these 100% every time I travel. Maybe dose of each in the morning, dose of each in the afternoon. Super greens can help with the detox. I mean, wonderful, wonderful stuff. And of course, always staying on top of like your regular essentials, right? Making sure you're getting your multivitamins in, making sure you're getting your D and your magnesium. All of these things really help support your body when you're putting it through a little bit of, you know, let's just call it healthy stress because, you know, travel is healthy. So those are just some of our tips that, you know, we like to use when we travel and staying healthy. Let's say any questions. Just yeah, awesome comments. Just a lot of very, very relatable co commentary coming in. Um, and another thing I also use is our, our protein powder. So we just. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't bring that one up. because I, yeah, I mean, I, I, this time I doubled up on our. Mm. Um, the container of our vanilla protein. So I dumped as much I could in that container and I made sure I started my morning, every morning off with a scoop of it. Even if you don't have a blender, it doesn't matter. It's now I know, like I started off, I've got that 20 grams of high quality protein to start my day. And then I, I also feel like having, you know, protein is hard to get on vacation or hard to get the amount that we really should be eating. So yeah, sure. Every little bit helps, guys. And again, as you're doing all this stuff to your body, it's okay. You want to enjoy your vacation. You've earned it, but you really need to support your body in the process. Don't think of a vacation as everything goes out the door. Think of it a little bit as like, I like the 80-20 rule, but maybe on vacation we're a little more skewed to close to a 50-50. But so you really got to support your body. And again, supplementation is the most important thing to do when traveling. So don't leave those supplements home, figure out a way to bring them. I mean, I sort my pills in our pill containers. I'll even use little baggies or little small Tupperware containers to dump our servings of our powders that we want. But again, it doesn't have to be in like 
the reusable, I mean, the little stick packs to bring it with you. Just be creative, be creative and hydrate. Oh uh, yeah. I was going to say <laughs> the hydration is real important. Of yeah. course. Yeah. Yeah. You definitely need to be doing that. Yeah. I know that there's some other things too that, you know, we could probably even mention a couple of the ones that some like may not make it with us, but I know coffee was, was always on board for me. Yeah. Um, but like creatine H&B didn't make it on this past trip with us. Right. I mean, again, we were small travel, small travel, we were, we were living on, on a, a small boat. Yeah. We didn't really have much that we could do. So there's certain things that I probably, I was prioritizing over others. Right. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, but we probably could have scooped it and made it and mixed it into right. it, you know, like, more, like our aminos or something. Sure. I mean, the more, the more you could bring, the better, the better, the better. Yeah. yeah. So that's awesome. They said, good job. Yeah. That's so again, our healthy tips, our tips to staying healthy, healthier this summer. So enjoy your time, but don't let the whole routine go out the door. <laughs> Got to have a little bit of balance and bring your supplements with you. It is so crucial to staying on top of your health while you travel. Sounds good, good to me, stuff. guys. Awesome. All right, guys, make sure you follow us along if you don't already. And that way you don't miss any of these other lives. And you can go ahead in our YouTube channel and watch a previous one. So all very educational. Thanks, guys. All right. See you all next time. Bye. Bye now.